Good morning, everybody. This is Steve, a thousand years home. So normally my blogs are about a thing, you know, like uh, how to build something or purpose of the blog. But uh, <clears throat> today I'm just going to do a 90 day review. I'm coming up on 90 days, not quite, but almost 90 days uh, from closing of the house until this moment. So um, the biggest thing that uh, has always been a problem is uh, the long distance. It's 100 miles, and I had debated early on of whether or not I was going to do a uh, um, an RV and live out here. <clears throat> and I wasn't quite ready for an RV. Uh, there has been some benefit of being in uh, Austin. I'm able to pick up supplies. Um, some of the things around you are from Craigslist, for example. Uh, but uh, it's a good status for me to do a, a 90 day update. So from close to now. All right, so 90 days update. So uh, went ahead and uh, we of course cleared a huge fire break and did a site prep. So bought a truck, which finally came in and that was uh, difficult because I had to order it from a factory. Back there, I bought a tractor. I've got a backhoe on it now, which was, uh, again, they couldn't find any of them in America. <laughs> So they had to track one down to put a backhoe on there. Uh, I've got the this container at the final height. It's reasonably level. I've got a, a laser level inside the, the storage slash bedroom that I'm living in. And that one, uh, probably um, six or eight inches from final height. Not as level, but getting there. <clears throat> I'm going to take the fork truck today, and I'm going to get underneath here. I'm going to lift up the sod out of there. Then I'm going to plow uh, the grass away from here because I am ready to cut windows in. So uh, <clears throat> first month I got the site done. I got all the equipment in. Uh, I tried to get supplies from Home Depot so that I'd have a foundation under these already. And that never did work out. <clears throat> I'll, do a, I'll do a blog on that. If you take a look inside here, you'll see that I've got the windows and doors. Windows and doors, way in the back there. You can hardly see windows and doors. So next weekend is windows and door weekend. I'm going to cut that in. Uh, I've got all the supplies. This, these will be uh, um, a suspended deck and uh, with no pylons underneath them. They're 12 foot, four foot can stick out. A third can be cantilever. So then I've got eight total. There are only three underneath I'm using as uh, secondary supports to the main pylons there. I uh, got two Connexes in, and if you watched my video, you would have saw that uh, it was uh, a wet and rainy uh, delivery, and these had sunk into the ground. That one was sunk into the ground, and this one I barely up had up off the ground. So uh, this is all one man doing all this work. <clears throat> oh, I put on uh, gutters, and if it had ever rained in Texas, listen, <laughs> I'm going to tell you all, Texas is mean. If you think you're going to go from the nice, gentle, rainy uh, uh, northeast and move down to Texas and not freak out. I remember when I moved down here and the first time I saw the little rivers go dry, I thought it was the end of time. Well, they go dry here. The rivers go dry here. And if you're not used to your little rivers going dry and you'll move to Texas, you too will be freaked out. So... Uh, but, uh, doing, getting a lot of done this, this 90 days, one man for every 20 minutes of video that you see, there is 40 hours of hard physical work, at least 40 hours. Um, I'm coming up. I've got way past the halfway point. Uh, I've only got, um, about, uh, 45, 50 days before I have to be physically living out here. So this container will be two bedrooms and a bath in the middle. Oh, I got my permits pulled for the site too as well. <clears throat> and then uh, the one bedroom I'll use, I'll move my living room furniture in. This one will be for storage, the front for storage. This will end up being a galley kitchen, so I will cut a door in here. This will have the same kind of deck as that. So eventually this will be the living room area with a, a roof above it. But 90 days, uh, that's all that I got done. Back here, uh, I got a log cradle going on, which uh, I could put my logs on. I've cut down, say, 15, 20 logs. Uh, I'm going to use cut my own lumber, to mill my own lumber. Still working on cutting trees out. But earlier, this is all scrub. You couldn't even see it all. So this will be a... And when I'm done, I'll use it as a chicken run. So two things at one time. So getting there 
this weekend I hasn't rained so I've got these little 300 trees planted so I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> water them all I have set up uh, over at Goodwill I found one of these tiny I'll rotate the camera around I found one of these decorative yard fountains and I took the fountain parts out and I turned it into a rain barrel and I've got a little electric pump that I use to pump out of the stock pond and then I drive around water these trees I need mother nature to help me out. it's a waste of time <laughs> I don't have any time <laughs> make a little this is final design right here everybody final design so I made a little patio area and um, so I'll be sitting there eventually I'll I'll put on that side the similar something similar and uh, that way I can look out at the orchard, keep track of the garden. I got a little tiny tomatoes and some odds and ends planted there. So uh, look at my living quarters. You'll see that uh, I am living rough. I am living rough. But um, one thing that I found uh, being a guy who builds a little tiny house is uh, I'm not after uh, a lot of extra things. I tend to be motivated to recycle. So uh, a lot of things I'm getting off of Craigslist, uh, Goodwill, as I mentioned before, for the water barrels. Well, they're a hundred bucks, and I paid nine dollars for that, for example. So uh, still browsing, still going, having fun, still having a lie. Uh, but uh, I this week I want to get these cut uh, windows in there, and I'm going to start living in there as soon as I can. So uh, and I think I can make my deadline, which is. Um, three months away or I'm sorry two months away I got to be out of the apartment in two months and 60 days 50 days so I'll be there uh, I'll show you one more thing I did I'll put this on pause I'm working on a driveway so we'll, we'll t update on that too all right let's take a walk here to uh, down the uh, living drive that I'm making so I'm, I'm not gonna burn this brush y'all I'm gonna lay it out in the form of a drive and and I'm going to run my shredder over it. I can shred up to a three inch log. So, <clears throat> but I'm going to cut most of the, the logs out there. You'll see that over there I'm stacking mesquite on one side to cut into little floorboards and a fence on the other, cedar on the other to make a coyote fence, which I'll go ahead and run coyote. But I'm getting here on this thing too. I've got a couple of trees in here still to to cut up that like that one then I'll spread this all out nice and even and as I thin a as I thin a tree I'll bring the branches and lay them in here but uh, this weekend I also started working on the end of the drive here that right now has a, a boundary ditch in it <clears throat> but instead of a boundary ditch I'm going to uh, let me see if I can get under this mesquite Nothing but thorns. Oh, I ain't kidding either. Can you see the thorns on that? Is the camera focusing? Them thorns is something. They'll scratch you and bite you, abuse you. <clears throat> Nothing in Texas is easy. All right, so right here, I brought down a, probably four ton of stone. I'm going to start uh, the filling in this ditch with a, uh, I'll even some of these out, but I didn't do a bad job laying them down. The make a French drain here. I have found on Craigslist, I almost walked into that spider. You can't see him, I bet you on camera. But I can't, there's a spider right there. Would have been a face full of spider. So I found uh, unlimited stone on Craigslist. So the problem is getting it down here. My little tractor will load them up, but I don't have a dump truck. So, all right, and that's it for my update. I'm walking around drinking my coffee and enjoying the day, getting ready to head on back home in a little bit, but I need to finish leveling those and finishing out the day.